I mean, I think uh, I think we've got a lot of skills all around, uh, offensively, defensively, and I mean, our goaltenders are, you know, they're looking good. I I like to see uh, the the older guys. You know, they're really setting the tone for the younger kids, and they're really taking to it, learning a lot. And I mean, it seems like everyone's ready to go, so we're super excited. Yeah, that's that's definitely the toughest challenge here. I mean, obviously teams have played about 20, 22 games, and we're stepping right into the middle of it. So this uh, this training camp is a little different than we've done in the past. It's kind of, uh, you know, hitting the gas pedal right away and getting into these scrimmages like today and, you know, getting right back into it. Because uh, this long this long off season, 11 months, it's, it's tough to come back from, but I think all the guys are super excited and ready to go. And even though we're a few games behind, I, mean, I think everyone's going to be ready for the challenge and super excited to go. How much value can you get out of a scrimmage environment? I mean, it all de- it all depends what each guy brings individually. Because I mean, obviously, you got to push the guy next to you, and uh, I think it's just as good as a regular game as long as everyone's really into- willing to uh, work hard and uh, play like they would in a real game, getting those bumps, doing the things the right way. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It, it has not been fun to go up against that. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of big boys back there. It's uh, it's a little change from the last few years, but it's awesome. We got a lot of experience back there. Uh, a couple of new guys and younger kids coming fresh out of out of college, but still, they're uh, they're experienced. They've played the game for a long time, and uh, I mean, it'll be it'll be awesome to see. You know, any of those net front battles that you know we might have been losing due to size last year. Uh, I think this year, there's there's no question we're going to be winning those. And it's uh, it's nice knowing you can uh, look back there and see the guy towering above you. I think just keeping it simple overall, you know, uh, not trying to make too many plays, force too many things, because obviously we we haven't played a, a full on game against another team, so. Just uh, keep it simple, limit mistakes. It's it's always, uh, as I've been told, you know, hockey's a game of mistakes, and whoever can capitalize the most on it will we'll end up winning. So as long as we can minimize that, uh, I think we got a heck of an offensive group, and we'll be able to put pucks in the net. All right. That's good. Yeah, well, I mean, two of the biggest things I think is getting back into game shape. You know, I mean, I think just based on practices in the last week and a half, you can really tell the guys have been staying in shape and, you know, been working hard through through this long off season. But, you know, it's completely different getting back in the game. You know, it's harder physically. It's harder mentally being alert and everything like that. So I think uh, working the kinks out, doing that's been really good. And also just getting out there competing, especially for me, it's my first uh first year playing pro hockey so it's been uh you know really great to get out there and get a first little taste before come before we get to friday where we play another real opponent uh and you know it's been really great you know there's a lot of good players good defensive players on the other side good offensive players so it's been really eye-opening and it's been a really good challenge to kind of get used to get used to the league and get used to the pro hockey style Yeah, I mean, it's always great to have big size, big D men on the back end because, like you said, you can be physically opposing. Um, I heard Petey talking before, and he said it has been fun playing against the D during the scrimmages. And, you know, as a defensive group, I think that's always the biggest thing you want to do is try to impose your physicality, whether it be bombs or blocking shots or, you know, boxing guys or whatever it is. So it's definitely, I think, uh, a big factor and a big benefit to have that size. And, you know, from what I've seen so far, too, we you know, even the some of the bigger guys, they could still skate. So I don't, uh, even with that big physicality, I don't think we're lacking any speed on the back end also. So, you know, to have kind of the best of both worlds there, I think it. Uh, I'm really excited moving forward to see what the key group can do.
these scrimmages, did, are they fun? Does this feel more like a, a, a normal situation getting a step closer? Yeah, absolutely. They are. You know, they, they've been, they've been extremely fun. I mean, for me anyways, I was back home at the university that I went to last year and we've been playing some scrimmages um, and those have been good, but they're, they're no, they're no match for what we've been doing here. And, you know, you can just tell just the compete level, like there was, you saw Hawkins and, uh, and, and Coughlin got, got into one today, you know, and, and I mean, it's all kind of, you know, their teammates and right after the fight, they hit each other, tap each other on the head, but it's just that kind of physicality and that compete. That's really fun. You know, as all professional hockey players, you're in competitors. It, it's really fun to get back in there. And, you know, I think it'll just be a step above each and every game come moving forward. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun getting back out there and competing. Yeah, well, I mean, there's been a lot of stuff thrown at us with, you know, D zone and O zone and everything, all kinds of systems like that. So I think a big thing will be the attention to detail and really buying into the system and moving forward, continuously doing that. But I think, uh, the biggest thing will be our compete level. And, you know, based on right now, whether it be, you know, like this morning's morning skate or today's scrimmage or whatever it's been so far, the compete's been been really high and it's been really good. So, you know, obviously it's been, you know, whatever it's been, eight, nine, ten months for some guys since they played a legitimate hockey game. So I think keeping it simple um, will be a big factor. And, and, you know, the biggest thing I think will be, yeah, keeping it simple and sticking to the game plan and, and making sure we really compete and work hard each and every shift. I'm good. Well, I thought a couple guys really separated themselves uh, today in the scrimmage, to be honest with you, and that's that's what we really wanted. We wanted guys to uh, make other ones uh, feel uncomfortable. Uh, there were some great performances. Uh, one right off the top of my head, Travis Howe, you know, a, a big tough guy, ended up scoring two goals right in front of the net, and you know that's that's a great way to make a make an impression. Um, Harper is a young rookie, has worked himself up. The lineup on a daily basis and he's continued to impress every single day and um you know one of the biggest things is we're going to need goaltending this week uh, or this entire season so the fact that uh, lekas didn't let a goal in today was uh very reassuring Yeah, just a little taste, but I think, uh, you know, the big storyline going into the season, going into training camp was the fact that we didn't have proven goalies. And, um, you know, in the Comets history, they've always had a veteran netminder in between the pipes, somebody that we know what we're going to get out of. And that's uh, that's a big question mark for us. And although we do believe that these guys have the potential to be great goalies, that is uh, really going to be the difference maker uh, early on in the season. We're going to need our goalies to be at their absolute best and not knowing uh, what their professional uh, results are going to be, I think for us is, I wouldn't say concerning, but that's definitely going to be something we're going to have to take a close look at on a game by game basis. Well, when you add some really good defensemen, it's really going to help out the uh, the goaltending. It's not just, uh, uh, you know, as simple as whether they make the save or not. If our defense are that much better in front of them, they're obviously going to boost the, the goalie's numbers. And so uh, when we've had a lot of time to reflect on our first season, I think that was our weak part, something that we had a lot of focus in uh, this summer to really rebuild. And right now we currently have nine on our roster, and I think our average size is uh, 6'3". Um, we've also got a lot of maturity uh, compared to last year. We had a lot of young guys on this roster. And then by design, we've had a lot of uh, mature hockey players come in here and, and settle it down. So I'm really encouraged by the ability that our defense have, not only to play defense, but all, also uh, bring some offense. I think every single one of them can skate. I think every single one of them can defend, and they're all great character guys in the room. And uh, I'm not sleeping easy tonight having to turn a roster in tomorrow at 3 o'clock and make a couple cuts. It's definitely not easy. How many scrimmages have you had total throughout the last week and a half? Just the two. And what's the value for you? What do you get out of this? And how, how well does this kind of simulate the, uh, the real game action they'll see on Friday? Well, there's a couple of differences. One in practices, um, you're really not uh, competing against anybody besides your teammates. And uh, 
you know, your heart rate to, has got to kind of elevate when the, the fear of getting hit and the fear of somebody barreling down on you, can you make plays under pressure? Um, and that's really what we were trying to simulate is as many in-game scenarios uh, as possible. And so um, no matter what kind of training, no matter what you do in training camp, it is not the same thing as playing a real live game against an opponent. So we tried to simulate everything we possibly could, but uh, there is no comparison uh, for playing actual games against somebody. So uh, we wanted to get those game legs in us. We wanted to get the bumps and bruises going. Um, but at the same time, we're going to be hit real quick with uh, uh, the change of pace when we're actually playing an opponent on Friday. And then how do you approach the next two days after the scrimmage? Are, is the is the pace at practice going to stay high or are you going to bring it down a little bit to make sure their bodies are fully ready to go on Friday? Well, I've pushed them uh, real hard since day one, and it was a gradual level. Uh, day one, day two, day three, we started really pushing the pace on a day-by-day -day basis. Uh, we had one off day uh, on the Sunday, uh, but a real hard practice. We've been doing two-a-days um, ever since we got into training camp, and so uh, now that uh, I started to see a little bit of fatigue set in after our second exhibition game um, amongst each other, obviously, I think the plan for the next two days is to give them uh, some shorter reps and prepare for Friday as it is a game week. So um, we've got to make sure that they're rested and ready to go for Friday. You know, I think the biggest thing is I've got to manage my own expectations. Um, you know, you want to have everything right. You want to make sure that your coaching philosophy, you're, you're uh, teaching all these details. But in the end, you, you've got to let the guys play. You've got to let them make mistakes. Um, and you can't, be, uh, uh, you can't be crowding their thoughts. You know, any hockey player that's thinking too much isn't relying on his own instincts. So for us, uh, uh, it's really going to be trial and error of, letting them play, let them make their own mistakes and, uh, you know, go from there. This is a very unique scenario as there's never been a team in professional hockey jump in nine weeks after the season has already started. Um, there's a couple advantages the other team has. Yes, they're in game shape. They've had a chance to work on their systems, find out the personnel. Uh, for us, we've got some rookies still trying to get a taste of their first pro action. Um, we still are going to have to get our systems down. We're still going to have to get in shape. And so I think the biggest thing is simplifying. Don't overthink the game. Keep it as simple and rely on your instincts to play the best we possibly can. Yeah, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up in the morning. Uh, we're going to leave here at 8 o'clock for a five-hour road trip, where typically we'd leave the day before. Um, the less exposure, the better to anybody in a hotel. Um, when you're on the road, you're going to have to eat out or you're going to have to uh, order in. So I think uh, one of the biggest things is uh, for us is limiting any sort of exposure to these guys. Um, so that's, that's going to be the big one is to make sure that we're ready to go in the hotel um, and then we really go from the hotel to the bus to the game, um, order in on the, the meals sort of thing. But, you know, it's going to be a very unique scenario. Like We've never had to go through this. So it's going to be interesting. And, uh, you know, normally you'd stop on the way to Wheeling. You know, you break up the trip a little bit, a little coffee break or something. Um, you know, we're telling the guys to make sure they're ready to go for a five-hour straight bus ride because uh, for us it's all about limiting the opportunities for guys to obtain this uh, uh, you know, this disease. That's the last thing we want as our preparation has been going now for the last 14 days that we want to kind of just keep them all together and make sure that there's no opportunity for them to get sick before the games this weekend. I'm all good too. Thanks guys. You guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Thank you coach.